What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning, the day after Christmas. Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Got to spend all the time that you could with your family. Those of you that are on the road still, hopefully you guys found something to do or just sit down and relax and, you know, enjoy y'all's day. I know it's difficult. I Trust me. I know. But we were... Well, at least I had you guys in my thoughts and in my prayers that, um, you know, you guys, I know you guys are doing it for a reason. You're out there on the road for a reason. But yeah, guys, I had a pretty good Christmas. I got to hang out with, with uh, my family and I got to hang out with my best friend. I drove out. He lives about two, about two hours from where I live and uh, I drove out to his house and uh, we went out there. I went out there, hung out with his family. Because here's the reason I'm gonna tell y'all that I, you know, went out there. Well, there's a couple of reasons, but one, my my family, my wife and kids, they are six hours away from here right now. Because we had planned that we were gonna be that I was gonna be out on the road, so she was gonna go visit her family. So that's why one of the reasons. The second reason is, you know, I've always I, I like spending time with uh, Kevin and his wife and um they're just great people so i just went out there hung out with him couldn't have found anybody better to do it with um it was just pretty awesome he made us some steaks and boy it seemed like he cut half the cow off that steak that was a big old steak and uh, his wife made us some good old homemade desserts this place is out in the country there's nothing much out there it's just real quiet and peaceful and uh i tried my i tried moonshine for the first time it was good. It was excellent. Um, but yeah. But other than that, I mean, I just had a great, peaceful, just fun time hanging out with my friend. And then the day before, hanging out with my family. It was awesome. It was great. I loved it. How was yours? How was yours? Uh, how was your Christmas, guys? Well, I'm getting ready to go drop off this load. I called yesterday to try to drop it off, but they didn't answer the phone, so. I just said, okay, well, it's Christmas. They might not be open. Plants are normally open, but this place is more like a um, a warehouse than a plant, than a, like, a, like a refinery plant, I guess. Let me uh, reintegrate that. So I didn't, uh, I didn't really think they might have been open anyways because, uh, you know, it's like a warehouse type of deal. So we're going to go today, the 26th, and go over there, go drop it off, and uh, go drop this trailer off and see what happens next hopefully well it's whatever really i was gonna say hopefully you know they'll let me come home but no 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 it's it's all about money it's all about well you know making money to support the family so if they got loads to go out to go do something else hey i do gotta do right but with that being said if there's not anything it'd be cool to come home and hang out with more family because i have family that are down from california and some that are up from south texas so um, I want to hang out with them, of course, but duty calls, got to work. That's where it is. So, yep, let's get on the road. Let's go drop off this trailer. Let's get our day started. <laughs> yeah, it was just a drop and hook situation. So I just dropped the trailer. They signed my paperwork. They didn't have it empty to take back to the yard. So I just went ahead and came back to the house. So here I am here in Willis. So I'm about to meet up with a friend of mine, uh, which has a YouTube channel also. And uh, I'll let him plug his channel here in a little bit. But uh, he's on his way to Dallas from Galveston, Texas. Um, and he's doing uh, produce. He hauls a reefer, reefer unit. So we're going to stop here in a little bit and talk to him. So, 
Let's see if we can catch up with him. Oh, finally made it over here to this uh, Valero. Finally made it meet up here with the homeboy. Um, I used to work with him hauling crude oil. We used to haul crude oil together. And there was just a crude oil trailer right here in park, parked in front, but I was gonna make a joke about it, but it already left by the time he came out. But uh, this is what he's driving. He's driving a Cascadia. I can't grill, that grill is cool. And that light's cool. But uh, yeah, just out here. Running into friends, talking to friends, trying to continue, you know, interacting with friends. But without further ado, this is my homeboy here, and this is uh, Gemini. So he's got his own YouTube channel as well. So he'll, tell, he'll have the link to the bottom of it. Tell him what it's about, though. Huh? Tell him what it's about. Pretty much vlogs, pro reviews, uh, anything new or out, uh, out of ordinary. I try to catch up on the drone. Try to do videos on those. Okay. Um, pretty simple. Like that. What's up? So right now you're headed where? Dallas. To Dallas. So he's got uh, Farmer's Branch, Texas. Okay. Dropped that up at 5 in the morning, picked it all up, come back. I got picked it up at 2.30. Yeah. What you yeah. got? Pro produce? This is produce. Oh, okay. My teens. Oh. From uh, Delmont. Delmont. Oh. Out of the port of Galveston. Some bananas. Well, plantains, but you know, this is a type of banana. <laughs> but yeah, so. Just came by here to say what's up with the homeboy. I ain't seen, oh, I ain't seen him in a while. Yeah, it's been at least it's been at least four years. At least. Yeah, give take. Because I've been he over here for either. Three. This was here. This wasn't here either. We weren't allowed to have none of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we weren't. Yeah, allowed to all have shaved that. off. Yeah, we weren't. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were supposed to look like a baby, like him, <laughs> like a baby's booty on his face. <laughs> we no, weren't allowed to have none like this. I always have my shit cleaned up. I always have my clean. Same, same. Yeah, yeah. Got a little bigger. That's about it. Oh, that's fucked up. Calling me fat. That's messed up, guys. <laughs> hey, he should be hey, hey, and he's the one stopped here to get fried food, and I'm the fat one, right? All hey, right. brother, gotta eat. That's right. That's brother, right. gotta eat. Okay. Hey, you should link this to your YouTube. Yeah, I'm. No, this. I'm kind of yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm kind of just like doing like a run, just trying to see if people like them and stuff. And then, yeah, what do you guys? You guys think y'all be interested in buying one of these shirts? Truckers, Truckers Life. Life. Truckers Life. On YouTube. Well, there you go. And he'll add my link to the bottom of the video. Yeah. Look at that link. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna let him go because he's he's on he's on that e log, you know, e log we gotta let him go. So. I hate that e log. I just saw that like a week like two weeks ago. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, with that, that you were used to that log book. Mm -hmm. It's over now. <laughs> it's over now for everybody. It's all over right now. Because if you don't have an e-log your system, yeah. By December 18, 18 was the last day. Yeah. It's it's a thousand to thousand dollar fine if they catch you without you log. Per day or per or just they, that's just the fine. That's just the fine in general. I don't know if you how long you, if you have it for yeah. if you miss it for three days, it's a different yeah. fine. So I don't know. I know. But I know that the, 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 the FMCSA and the, C, uh, the CSV is already enforcing with the with the DOT already. Right. They have to pull you over. So like uh, when I got my e log on the second day and I was going to Dallas. Dude, when I was going for I don't go to that mass trucks pull over left and right. Yeah. My stick trooper just check and make sure they have everything. Yeah. See, I've around, been, dude. I've been on e log for years, so I don't even I ain't worried about none of that. But yeah, for those of you that have they haven't done it, I'm sure sure y'all have to y'all have to have done it now. So if y'all if y'all haven't done it, y'all playing with fire. No, maybe caught. maybe the local people can get away with it. If they're oh, local, yeah. maybe. I don't know. I know but or the cow, the, cow, the cow haulers too, right? I think the cow haulers have a certain Yeah. Deal that they but if you're, if you're picking a load and this is it's from international waters, yeah, because you know how uh, Del Monte have produce from from uh, yeah. Guatemala and all that. Like this stuff. You got you gotta have you gotta have e-log. Oh, you gotta have you e gotta have if, you, if you're hauling if you're picking up from international water and bring it to somewhere else in the U.S. Yeah, you gotta have e-log. If they if they produce there uh -huh. and then make it there and yeah. then they farm there, that's fine. Uh -huh. But if you're getting it from overseas, coming from the ship channel coming in, yeah, and you get a load from there because through their company, yeah, you have to have e-log. I was oh. told by that when I got audit about three weeks ago. She told me that. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Somebody yeah, didn't know about. So. Yeah, if you get caught with that, if you know you have uh, international international product. water product that you, that you got to load, yeah. and you have your log, you're screwed. Don't there, you go. there you go. I'm learning something too. So, so yeah. Keep that in mind. All and right, Miss. The funny thing is, yeah. you know, I, 
I'm running my full authority, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go to right? Yeah. The lady, they ordered me, you have to have your old application to do your application I for your company. You. I, told like, you. I told you. I told you. Man, that's not making any sense. No. It don't <laughs> make no sense. You yeah. own the company, but, but you, you have to, to have an application. If you're an owner operator or you're thinking about becoming an owner operator with your own authority, you have to have you have to have yourself as an employee of your own company. And you yeah, have to have an application uh, on the file. The three reasons so. application and you gotta call the company that you work for and uh, call them. So you have to have 10 years. That's 10 years, right? 10 year history, yeah. but three years recent. Mm -hmm. so for, for, the, for the first three, yeah. the most recent, you have to yeah. call your own company. Okay, like I used to work for Gemini, right? Yeah. So I call Gemini, hey, that et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I work for you, how did it work and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Either they send you a form and how he, how 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 well is his work ethics? Yeah. Or he just tell you all over the word of mouth. If you tell you the word, you gotta write it down. So when you audit, they gotta show proof of that as well. Which is kinda stupid. So what is it that I mean so so what is it to say that you didn't just write the stuff in there, you didn't call nobody? That's what she told me, I'm doing what she told me. Okay, okay, okay. So DOT, and they got get audit. Well, this is the business card she gave me. It's yeah, what she told me. Yeah. They didn't send me anything. You give me word of mouth. I had to write all that stuff down. So yeah. And the, the time and the date that I called. Yeah. That's it. Interesting. So. so for those of you that want to have your own authority, make sure you look all this stuff up because DOT will give you a call. They gave you a call, right? They said we're going to meet not, you. I'm not even six months in yet, and I got a call. And I got already got audit already. Yep. I only had less than less than a year. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Quick. But if, yeah. you're, if you're if you're if you're owner leasing to a company, you got nothing to worry about. Yeah, you don't have to worry yeah, about it. Yeah. About. So I ain't got nothing to worry about it. So I'm good. But my cousin as well, he got audited real quick too, and he's got his own trucks. As soon as he got his authority, a few months later, he got a phone call. Hey, we need to talk to you, and we need all this information. So be prepared for that, guys. If you guys are planning on getting your own authority, be prepared for all this stuff. Have all this, all your ducks in a row, because DOT's it's really hard. Yeah. DOT, this 2020 coming up. Is really right now. Oh yeah, all trucks. They're not playing around. Yeah, yeah. Get caught. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that, 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 that truck over there. They just scraped the back on that on that engine. But yeah. All right, man. We're gonna let you go, man. We're gonna let you bounce. We're gonna let you hit the road. We'll catch up. Yeah. Bye later. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah later, guys. Peace. Peace. Don't forget to follow this channel. Gemini. Gemini Seven. G Seven. There you go. Y'all got the links below. All right. But that was it. So. That's some information I didn't know nothing about. ¿Cómo estamos? Todo bien, todo bien. So, like I was saying, if you're becoming an owner, I see that's information that I didn't know nothing about. And I've been, you know, he's my friend. We've been talking for a while, but you know, it's just things that you have to think about. And uh, if you're thinking about becoming an owner operator, is you got to get all your ducks in a row. You got to, especially if you're gonna get your own authority. So. Yeah, so good information. Let's see him go by. Well, let's get out of here.